Okay, so let's have this one, compound proposition. Now, we have these five connectors when creating a compound statement or compound proposition. So the first one, the conjunction, this one is the symbol, and read as and. Disjunction, the symbol, and read as or. We have this implication or conditional, that's arrow, if, then first statement, then the second statement. Then uh, by implication or by conditional, the double arrow, so we have this first statement, then if and only if, then the second statement. And the last one, the negation, this is the symbol, that's not. So let's have this given, so we let P, Mr. Ocampo is a math teacher, then Q, Mr. Ocampo is a basketball player. Then we have this equation, so create a compound uh, proposition or compound statement using the given symbol or given equation. So this P, then a conjunction, then Q. Now since P, that's Mr. Ocampo is a math teacher, then this conjunction read as and then Q, Mr. Ocampo is a basketball player. So this is now the compound uh, statement. Then for this equation, so Q implies not P. So since uh, we have this arrow, so arrow that's if, then the statement, then, then the second statement. Now since our first statement is Q, so therefore, if Mr. Ocampo is a basketball player, then since not P, so negation of P, then Mr. Ocampo is not a math teacher. Then for the third equation, so we have this not P uh, by implication, not Q. So for by implication, first statement, if and only if, then the second statement. So first statement, that's the negation of P. So we have this Mr. Ocampo is not a math teacher. Then if and only if negation of Q, so not Q. So Mr. Ocampo is not a basketball player. Then for this uh, equation, so P disjunction not Q. So P, Mr. Ocampo is a math teacher. Then this uh, disjunction, that's or. Then uh, not Q. So Mr. Ocampo is not a basketball player. Player. So this is how to create a compound statement or a compound proposition.